What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to another squad building challenge video. EA have dropped two brand new SBCs, a very strange time to drop them, but here they are nonetheless. If we could get a thumbs up for a late night video, it would be much appreciated. Um, maybe EA are finally listening to us, giving us some stuff that we want. So we're going to start with foreign players. Foreign players, Premier League foreign players. You need to use a squad of Premier League players... Minimum of three Premier League players, England players exactly zero, players from the same league maximum six, team chemistry minimum 90. That shouldn't be too difficult. Um, what, do you, what do we get for a reward first and foremost? So obviously we need non-English players. I think, uh, I think if we went for a full French, uh, uh, let's go, yeah, let's go for a full, full French team. Uh, French team would be quite easy to do. I'll use Loic. Wait, does it even have to be gold? Oh, it could be bronze. Oh, this is nice. Um, let me let me reset that then. Let me go to Premier League and let me go quality bronze. Okay, let me just get any bronze Premier League players. Who do I have that isn't English? A goalkeeper and a right back. That's pretty damn helpful. Um, so, uh, chemistry 90. There's no rating. A two rare gold players pack. So, you don't really get a great reward for this. So next up, we obviously want to do. Um, we want to go to the SPL. If I've got any SPL players left now, the Scottish Premier League players um, are pretty. Wait, let me go. Uh, let me just go bronze centre back. Let me just see what I've got here. Do I have any Scottish? Let's go to Nation. This should be pretty easy. It just, just it depends how many bronzes I've got. I don't really have that many bronze players um, in this club because I don't really open many uh, bronze packs in this club. So uh, we do have a Welsh uh, BP, well, dude there from uh, Division Three. So let's go to uh, Division, or you know, you know, you guys know what I mean. Uh, let's take this dude. Uh, we can't have any English players, right? Yeah, we can't have any English players. Um, so we could put this dude in as well. And now we could just do. Um, do I have many? Let's just go for any bronze left back. So I'm, I'm looking for a league that I've got a lot of players of. I think the Japanese league might be a good shout right there because I'm going to be able to get myself a lot of the Japanese players. The last thing we're going to have to do, Jesus Christ, I don't really have many. I don't really have many players. This is why bronze pack method is so good, guys, because you get to complete things like this for next to nothing. Um, let's have a look at what we've got from the Japanese league. So we have a striker. Uh, we'll pop him in. Um, we have a... I'm sure we have a left mid. We don't have a left mid. Let me go for any position again. Any centre mids. We have a centre back, a right back, a right mid. Uh, this is going to be helpful. Um, trust me, it will be helpful. I, I need the two BPL dudes, obviously. Um, and I'm going to put a third BPL guy in the defensive spot, the centre back spot. So we'll send him to the club and then I'll just fill in the rest of these positions with the Japanese guys because we should be able to get um, what we need out of it. So I've got a right mid, a right back, a left back, another centre back there. So I don't really want the centre back. I kind of want a left mid or another right mid from the uh, Japanese league. Uh, two centre mids and a CDM. So we could pop him in. We could take him. We could take him. Uh, we'll try him. I don't mind taking the centre forward because uh, he'll convert down to a cam. Um, although we do have a cam right there. So we should be good. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping... Oh, wait, no. Players from the same league is max six as well. Uh, so let's get these let's get these Japanese players in, actually. Let's pop him over there real quick. Let's get this Japanese dude in there. So that's five players from the Japanese league, and this guy will make six. Um, he doesn't get perfect links in there. Do we have a centre mid or a CDM that's going to work out for us from this, or a centre-back. What club is that guy from? Osaka, Gamba Osaka. So if we've got a defender, centre-back. I'm making this far more difficult than it is, I'm sure. Um, we don't actually have... Do we have a centre-back from that other league? No, we don't. I don't really have centre-back that's going to help me out here, which is quite frustrating. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll do that for now. All of these dudes are going to get as good as 10 chem. Uh, we've got the two English players so far. Now we need one more BPL player. So I'll go with a, I'll go with a left back. Um, if we've got a silver left back, I'll just use a silver left back. If not, I'll use a gold left back just for the sake of it. I am going to have a silver left back, which is going to be helpful. I do have a bronze one, but obviously it can't be an English player. 
Um, so we can throw in, do I want to use a Man City player? No, let's use Ward because I can actually use now Irish players um, from the Irish League. I'm sure I have some Irish League players. Yes, right, he's Northern, well, we'll use this guy just because he's Irish. I wouldn't recommend using a silver. And then last but not least, any Irish man should do. Yes, indeed. There we go. Now, bear in mind, guys, uh, loyalty is going to be a factor here if you don't have it. I have 98 chemistry on this team. We fit the specifications. Uh, three Premier League players minimum. No English players. Six players maximum from the same league. 90 chemistry. 11 players. We get a two-player pack. So that is for you bronze pack enthusiasts right there. Next up is Bundesliga. And it's going to be near identical, isn't it? It's going to be exactly identical. So, uh, we're going to want to go to the Bundesliga and find what other bronze dudes I've got to be able to uh, sort myself out here. I've got three German bronze Bundesliga players and I can't have German players. I've um, got a Polish there. I've got a lot of Polish league players as well. Swiss, Scottish. I kind of want to just use the cheapest um, Korean. We'll take the Korean dude. We'll take the Swedish dude. And we'll take the Austrian dude. Um because uh, we can throw him in there, we can throw him in there, and we need exactly zero Germany players, we'll throw him in there. So let me go for a Swedish right back, let me go to the Swedish league, I think that's pretty early on here as well isn't it? Um, maybe not, Swedish league is all the way here, uh, just hope I have some bronzes, I don't have any bronzes, I'll use a silver. As I say guys, for you guys, I would highly recommend using bronze players so we'll throw him in we'll throw him in and then at left back we'll throw this bro in here and can we get any more chemistry there we can't i might i might actually struggle here with chemistry i'm not gonna lie uh, this could be relatively problematic because i don't have any strong links to any of these dudes um we'll take we'll take a we'll take a view now if i can go to the korean league if we've got some korean league players here where is the k league um I've already gone past it. There it is. Uh, so do we have Korean League players? Yes, we do. So I'm, I'm surely got bronze players here. Right, perfect. So we'll throw this guy in. Bear in mind again, guys, I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend you guys using just all bronze players. Uh, don't be like me. Don't be that guy that uses, uh, you know, uses... Um, silver players because he's too lazy to go and buy these players. You don't have to use the players or the leagues I've used. There are plenty of players in the whole game for you to be able to do this right now you can see on the screen i only have 90 chemistry um if you got swedish players from the swedish league like i haven't you would get 100 chemistry these two center backs and the left back would all gain three chemistry each so you get 99 chemistry basically but this is another one done very cheap i've only used four silvers so that's not too bad it's not the end of the world and we get a premium silver players pack for that so that's pretty decent reward and then Calcio A, we're going to have to go through this all again. Um, no Italian players. <laughs> it's going to be the same situation. Um, do I have any bronze ones? No. Do I have any silver Calcio A players? Lots. What is the best nations for me to use here? Let me just go and use the lowest end silver players. Um, if you've got any bronze Calcio A players, obviously it's going to be more beneficial to you. And uh, it will save you a lot of coins. So we've got a Swiss player there. We'll take the Swiss player because we'll be able to fit some Swiss league players around him. Uh, we'll take the... Do I want to use a Brazilian? Not really. Um, I don't... I don't re or we'll take the two French centre midfielders because they'll get strong links to each other. Um, so we can actually just pop him in there and pop this dude in here. And then pop this dude next to them. And that's our three Calcio A players. A uh, minimum of three nationalities isn't going to be a problem. So now we just need to go, if I have got uh, Swiss League players, I believe the Swiss League is quite an early one, right? Yeah, boom. So I have got some Swiss League players. Do I have some Swiss players? Yes, I'm going to have to use a silver again here because I need the players to be Swiss. Uh, so I am going to use a lot of silvers here in actual fact, just because it's going to be better for me for chemistry. <laughs> yeah, for no other reason. Um, so that's four. This will be the fifth Swiss League player. Uh, we'll use a bronze here because we've got some. Perfect. So that's five of those. And then last but not least, we can put our sixth Swiss League player here. We'll use a bronze here as well. And again, I would highly recommend you guys using bronzes. Uh, this is more for me to just show you guys the, the things that are going on. Now, what we'll do for the next bit again is we'll go back to the K League. 
um, and we'll just get to... Oh no, the J Japanese league will be fine. Uh, if we've got two strikers from the same club, it would be more than helpful just because of the chemistry. Uh, we don't. So we'll just take any two Japanese strikers. That's going to be us. Again, I've hit the chemistry only because of loyalty. So if you do the exact same team as me, the loyalty is going to be an issue for you. However, you can quite easily do this without needing all of this loyalty. For example, um, if I got rid of this dude and instead put this French dude here and then put another Japanese player in at cam, we go up to 97 chemistry. It requires far less loyalty. Uh, you see how I'm going with that? So it just depends on how you guys manipulate the players you've got. You want to use as many bronzes as possible. You get a gold pack here. This pack is worth 5,000 coins. If these players are worth more than 5,000 coins, do not do this yet. Wait until you have the bronzes. This guy's probably gone up in price. Oh, no, he's still 850 coins. But anyway, if these Swiss guys, use a, use a league where you've got bronze players instead of these dudes. Won't make any difference. You know, if you don't have the players to hand, spend some coins on the bronze pack method. Get some bronzes in your club. You'll be, got, you'll be fine. So that's that done. That's the first one done. We get a gold pack and 500 coins. We complete the foreign players, uh, which we get all players pack and 1,000 coins. So, so far we've picked up four packs. Next up is playing abroad. Italy to start with. So we need three Italian players, no Calcio A or Calcio B players, five leagues exactly, four from the same nation, minimum rating of 79. So three Italy players. Let's go for the BPL and get Italian players first and foremost and see how that's going to fare for us. Um, a right mid, a right back and a centre back seems to be pretty damn effective for me, even if I do say so myself. They'll all get really good chemistry. Uh, the right mid and the right back will be on perfect chem. Um, the centre back there. So that's the three Italian players. We need five leagues here. Um, players from the same nation is a maximum four. So what we'll do now, and it has to be a 79 rated squad as well. So what we'll do now is we'll go to league and uh, let's go to the Russian league actually. Um, we'll get a goalkeeper, a centre back, and a left back from the from the Russian league. Obviously, we want all Russian players, and we need them to be of semi decent rating. Um, do we have any Russian? We'll go for a 78 rated centre back, and I'm hoping we've got a Russian left back that's quite high rated, a 77 rated Russian there. So those all have the chemistry. We don't need to worry about chemistry for these dudes. That's now two leagues. So our next league is going to be. What do we need for chemistry? It has to be 100 chemistry. So that's going to be quite interesting. Um, we might have to do something a little bit different here. I might have to do the Italians from the strikers' positions. Let's just see what I can do with this. Uh, let's go for Liga Liga Nos. Do I want to go for Liga Nos? Let's go. Um, yeah, let's go into Liga Nos, left mid. Uh, if we could get some Portuguese. So we'll put Rafa in there. And then if we could get a cam. Now, if we can get a cam uh, from the same nation and the same club, it would be helpful. But, of course, we do also need these to be quite high rated. And the centre mid, the same, would be very helpful if it was quite high rated. So, there. So, that's us having four leagues now. Uh, our team rating is quite a ways off. And our chemistry could be problematic. However, if we put another cam here, um, and I don't mind using a centre mid to boost up as a cam or a CDM to boost up as a centre mid if we haven't got one high rated enough. And it does, for me right now, it does need to be Portuguese as well. Um, so we'll use silver there. Silver will be super helpful. Uh, and that 82 rating as well will be super helpful because now all we're going to need is any Portuguese striker that's not from a league that we've already used. And then we will be fine. Assuming same nation is max four, we can take care of that with the Russian. Leagues is exactly five. Uh, we don't have five leagues. We only have one, two, three. Ah, yeah, we only have four leagues. Um, let's throw uh, let's throw a dare in there for now, anyway. So if I can get a, hmm, where am I allowed to lose chem? I'm allowed to lose Kem on this left-hand side, aren't I? If I just get any left mid, I think we, we might be okay with pretty much any left midfielder, um, which would be nice. I could be wrong. I could have to change a few things about. Um, let me just have a look real quick. Let me use this guy. So this does he doesn't have the, the rating, which is uh, the problem. So we need a 78 or a 79 rated midfielder. So Denis Suarez, yes. Now again, guys, this is going to be heavily dependent 
on loyalty chemistry. I'm fortunate enough that I have all these players packed pulled. This is not a clever way to do this either. I've done this ass about face. I've made it far more difficult on myself. But if you have loyalty, getting yourself the trio cam centre mid and centre, uh, two cams and centre mid from one league and one nation, then you can have a final league and nation just as a striker that's obsolete. What you can then do, so what you'll have here is cam, centre mid and two cams will be one league of your leagues. The striker will be a second league and the same nation, so he gets the chemistry. What you'll then do is you'll do your left mid and your left back to go chemistry because they only need two links each and the same with your right mid and right back. So what you'll do is you'll get a same league and same nation player from right mid, right back and then left mid, left back. And then you'll finally do your two centre backs and your goalkeeper from the final league and nation to, uh, to suit you. Um, it will make it far, far more easier than the way I've done it. But the way I've done it here is pretty interesting method if you have... Um, if you have the chemistry. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put these players on the bench real quick, guys, and I'm going to show you the method of doing it the, the right way around. Okay, guys, so th this is the better way to do it, okay? So the, the, uh, the way we're going to do it like this is we've got our three Italians in the team still. We've got Damian and Barini on the right-hand side. Because they get a strong link to each other, they get perfect chemistry. We stayed with the uh, Portuguese quad up top. Um, which are really effective. Three from the same league and the same nation, which gives them strong links into each other, which obviously helps with chemistry. And then finally, the Portuguese striker up top from a different league, but the same nation. And that gives us our four nationalities, but two separate leagues. My other Italian was the left back, Crescito. To get him the strong link, we didn't need an Italian. We needed a Zenit player to give him two links. So we went with, uh, who is it, Shatov? Yeah, Shatov at left mid. And then in defence, we went with uh, two German centre-backs and a German goalkeeper. And that this, this is the method you want to use. The method I used was just completely backwards and it only worked because I had the chemistry. This here, however, will work uh, with one... You need one loyalty here. You'll get... Everyone will get nine chem minimum, uh, which will be 99 chemistry. So you will need one loyalty uh, from this method. So if you don't have one loyalty, you're going to be pretty screwed. So we're going to submit that one in, boys. And that's the first one done. Next up is going to be France. I guess this is going to be uh, identical for all of them. Um, seems like just different formations. So three French players. Um, no players from French League 1 and 2. Same from the same league as maximum 4. Same nation is maximum 3. So three from the same nation. And we need three French players. So what we're going to do is we're going to go for a French centre-back. Um, and uh, two French centre-backs and a French goalkeeper. Because it's going to be the easiest thing to do. Of course, we can't have them from uh, the French League. So if we do have a couple from the Italian League, it would be super helpful. Uh, do we have another Calcio A here? Tell you what would be easier, doing this. We'll worry about the rating after. Uh, we don't have from Calcio A. Do we have two Bundesliga centre-backs? No. Do we have two La Liga French centre-backs that are relatively decent? Okay, so we do. We'll have uh, we'll have this guy and we'll have this guy just from the uh, from the other league. So we'll get rid of this dude here. We'll pop these bros in here. And now if we could get a French goalkeeper from Liga Santander, that would be helpful. Uh, we can't. Um, players from the same league as maximum four. So we'll just go for any goalkeeper from the Liga Santander. Preferably from one of the French League's clubs. Um, so is Rico there? Is he? Yeah, so Rico's perfect there because now this centre-back gets a strong link. And then if we could get a right-back from Atletico Madrid, again, it would be super, super helpful. This dude is more than helpful because now all of this defence gets perfect chemistry and we've taken into consideration two of our three French players. Uh, next up, we need players from the same league as maximum four. We've got that. We need players from the same nation as maximum of three. So we need... Uh, this isn't anything for leagues either. So you can actually do one league here as long as you can get... Oh, no, maximum league is four. The last one was a minimum number of leagues. This one is a maximum from the same league as four. So what we're going to want to do um, is do our cam, CDM and right mid from um, the same league. If we actually go, we do need this to be at least 80 rated. So I've got a 75 and a 79 in there. I'm gonna to need to throw in a pretty big player to be able to pull this off. Let's go and take a look at some Germans from the Bundesliga. I'll, I'll use Bender, I don't mind that at all because I can put in a German cam as well, uh, Didavi there. Uh, he'll get a strong link and a German right mid, which will also be a pretty, I'm, I'm very tempted to use Bellarabi too. Um, I'm gonna to use Herman the German to start with 
to see if that's enough ratings for me, if that's covered it enough, but it might not be. Um, and then last but not least, we're gonna go and use ourselves. So same nation is three. Do we have a French striker from the Bundesliga? It would be super helpful. We have Modest and he's 80 rated. That is great. He's, he's not gonna get the perfect chem. Everybody else is gonna be on perfect chem and that's not gonna be a problem. So now all we need is uh, three players here that are gonna link pretty well. Um, it doesn't even have to be strong link. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Calcio A. We're gonna get just an Italian here. Uh, we'll go with any 80 rated. We'll go with, uh, let's go with Eder for the uh, the first Italian. We're gonna get an Italian left mid. Bonaventura is perfect to 82 rated. And we're gonna go for an Italian left back. And uh, this again should be okay. Even with a lower rating there, uh, 78 rated. Can we get away with 76 rated? We can, so there you go. So the reason why this works is because of the, there are only a few low chems. Now with this one, you are definitely going to need loyalty chemistry on the whole team. Uh, of course, you're getting a rare gold pack for this and 3,000 coins, so it's worth it. Um, there is probably a method that you can use that requires you not to use, um, not to use loyalty. Uh, but for me personally, I've got it down here so that you have to use loyalty. In fact, if you do have Bellarabi instead, you can put Bellarabi at right mid and it will give uh, Bender in at centre back 10 chem as well. So you'll gain three chem points there. And if you have uh, an AC Milan Calcio A player, uh, that would actually be um, far, far more helpful. Uh, Niang's not the dude. It would have to be an Italian. Uh, if you can get like, basically, if you can get um, the perfect links here, then that would be super, super helpful. Something like um, Danny Welbeck. Uh, in fact, that, that would be perfect. Danny Welbeck, uh, Theo Walcott, and um, and Kieran Gibbs would be would be a perfect little perfect little solution down this left hand side to get everybody the chemistry that they need. Assuming I have Walcott, and you'll get pretty decent ratings out of that as well. So uh, you know they're they're quite high rated, all all around 80. Um, they all get 10 chem. Now you're only a few points away from the loyalty. So if you also then put in um, Bellarabi here at right mid, uh, we don't want that. Obviously, you don't have to do this. Like I'm just doing this for to, to show you. Like, and and I'm doing this not to show you because I don't believe you should use these specific players. I'm showing you this because this is the formula for you to use. So what we've got here is we've just got strong links all around to give everyone the chemistry, and then the only person off chem is the striker. So even if you didn't have loyalty on this, you would only need loyalty on about, uh, what would you get? You get 96. So you'd only need loyalty on four players from this setup to get yourself uh, the, the chemistry needed. Obviously, if you do need to do the loyalty glitch, I do have a video on it. Uh, if you just go into YouTube and type in the Panthers FIFA 17 loyalty or chemistry glitch, you will get it shown up for you, no problem at all. So next up now, we need three Germans, 79 rated, four leagues and four nations, maximum four. Um, so I think what we'll do is we'll go German down the right-hand side here. So we'll go for a German, uh, let's go German right back. Obviously, we don't want Bundesliga or League Two. So we'll go with a Turkish right back, no problem. This is only a 79 rated one as well, so it'd be super easy to get it back up. Oh, Podolski as well. 80 rated gets that strong link into the Turkish, uh, the Turkish right back as well. If we have another Turkish league player here, this could be a, a jackpot city, I would say. Let's actually go and have a look. Do we have a Turkish league? Where was the Turkish league there? Let's just go any. Let's see how many Germans we have. We ha oh wow, we actually do have a guy that works. He works. And then last but not least, let's go and get any German centre back that's not from the Bundesliga. Uh, we don't need it to be too high rated. Um, we can take Rudiger there, no problem at all. So you get a prime gold players pack for this guy. It's 45k pack. So, so far we're in good shape. Four, same from the four, same league is maximum four. Oh, we actually only need three Germans. That's perfect because those dudes can go there. All three of these dudes get full chemistry. Now we could just build the rest of the team, no problem at all. Um, so if we go centre back, we can go Italian. Let's take an Italian. Let's go Italian and Calcio A makes it quite easy. Um, obviously, we're gonna need to use the gold dudes and they're gonna have to be relatively high rated. Uh, so we'll use a couple of 79 rateds and then the goalkeeper as well. If we can get one from the same club, it'll be ideal. But if not, it's not a big deal. Um, yeah, we'll go with we'll go with another rated. We've, we've way overstepped the mark on the rating so far. Uh, actually, maybe not, because we have got 76 right back. So that's that. 
Uh, down, down the left hand side, we'll go with, uh, let's go with French. Um, we'll go with the, uh, the French dudes here, so Nation France. And again, we'll just take what we've got. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with Kazawa again. Probably a little bit too high rated. Um, you know, you're only getting a 45k pack for this. So if you guys don't want to use these specific players, this again is me more showing you the formula than anything else. And in fact, this dude at 76 rated, we're going to need those high rated dudes. Uh, and then last but not least, what you're going to want is you you can either go with um, another Frenchman here. Uh, to get yourself like a, a nice high rated set of um, chemistry points in all of those four. And as you can see, now I'm at 99 chem. My striker could just be any striker from any league that's not the Bundesliga. So we could just go from the, the Liga Santander and just take any striker that suits anything, really. Um, if we go for Vieto, uh, that's 79 rated. So there you go. Vieto works, right? So this seems pretty, uh, pretty interesting. We've got obviously a set of three down the right hand side. Set three down the middle and a set of four on the left hand side. But what you could do is instead of doing this, you could get a striker and a cam from the same league uh, or, or nation to give some strong links. But again, this one is going to require some loyalty chemistry. You might be in a situation where you have 95 or 96 chemistry instead of 100 chemistry. And so you're going to need to go and do the loyalty glitch to make sure that you finish off properly and get everything done. So that is three of these four done. And then last but not least, guys, Spanish players, exactly three. Same league is three, same nation is three. Uh, so let's just go and get ourselves a Spanish left wing. This, this, one, this formation is really easy to, to make links for. So um, this should be quite easy to do, really. And I didn't quite catch the rating there. What is the rating? 80 rated. So I'm going to use this Hesse, even though he's no longer has a PSG card. What am I ever going to use him for other than that? So we'll put Hesse in there. Uh, we'll put uh, we'll put Negredo in there from the BPL, no problem. And we'll put in um, let's put in uh, Calleon from the fr the Italian league. So that's our three Spanish players, no problem at all. Uh, what you want to do now is you just want to get a player from the league of each one in the middle. So we want to go and get preferably like from the same club as well, if possible. Uh, so we go to the Calcio A first. If we can get a Napoli midfielder who's going to be quite low rated, I think Alan might be a good shout, actually. We need this to be 80 rated, so he will be a good shout. Um, and in the centre mid spot, be, uh, I'll tell you why we do that, guys. Because then the right back, again, if we can get a Napoli right back, and we can, we can get this dude. These guys now get all links together, so that's no problem, right? Um, on the left-hand side, if we can go and get ourselves um, the uh, a, a PSG player. doesn't have to be a PSG player, actually. Perhaps... Uh, Perhaps someone like Toliso might be good. Who have we got left backs? The left backs are going to be quite important here because there's not that many left backs in the French league. Um, so we've got Marseille. We've got more Marseille. What do we have uh, for untradeable? Yeah, I, I mean, I might just use the uh, the Maxwell there just for argument's sake. And then we can throw in a Bra just a Brazilian centre mid actually would be, would be good enough. Let's go any and Brazil and see what Brazilians we've got. Um, we don't have a Brazilian centre mid. So we are going to have to go with a PSG centre mid. I'm hoping there is a low rated player that we can use here. So we're going to have to use Rabio, which isn't bad. Motta wouldn't be bad either. Um, but there you go. So, so far we're doing good. We've got two Brazilians, uh, the three Spaniards. And now what we need to do to complete this off for the chemistry is we need a BPL midfielder who's going to be easy to turn into a hybrid. So basically, any English BPL midfielder is going to be your friend here. Uh, as high rated as you possibly can get. For us, Jack Wilshere isn't a bad shout. He's going to be super cheap. But because Henderson, for me, is untradeable, I'm going to use Jordan Henderson here. Then we're going to want to go for two English centre-backs. Uh, Shawcross and Stones. Uh, maybe we'll use Jones, actually, because he's 79 rated there. Unless, again, I've got some untradeables. I'm not going to use Jagielka, um, which is perfect. Now, we already have the chemistry we already have basically the rating. We need oh three from same uh, same league. Hold on, we we can't do this. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me do this instead. Let me get um, let me get a different Spanish striker um, instead of Negredo. Let me go for nation Spain uh, striker. We don't want it from the beat. We want it from quite an yeah. David Villa is just a bit overkill if I'm honest. Uh, that Soriano card would be good. Uh, we'll use Soriano there. Boom. So we throw Soriano in. So he's only going to get seven chemistry, but that will still work because you can have three from the same league, three from the same nation. 
This needs to be 80 rated. So now we just need an English goalkeeper from um, essentially the championship, which we should have. Green is not enough. Players from the same nation is maximum three. Hmm, it's not going to work, is it? That is not going to work. Um, what don't we need here? Do we not need Bundesliga? Is that what we don't need? No, Bundesliga is fine. We're going to need chemistry. Damn, I've, I've messed up here, guys, because same league is maximum three. Um, hmm. So let's do. Let's get an English goalkeeper here. Damn, I thought I thought I had that one, guys. I genuinely thought I was like, yes, this is this is this is done. This is you know easily done. Job done. We put Forster in there, 80 rated. So that's that's fine. Basically, we've got everything except this midfielder. However, it probably looks like so yeah. So Soriano reads like he's got 10 chemistry here, and he's not going to have 10 chemistry once I put a centre midfielder in. However, I am free to put in any centre midfielder that I want from any league and nation that we currently don't already have. Um, so that Witzel card could have been good, for example. This Fernandez card might be, uh, yeah, I oh, don't know, we can't use La Liga cards, obviously. Um, this Herrera card will be perfect. There we go. The reason why this works again, guys, is simply because of loyalty. So if you want to do these quick, it's not going to be that easy because you are going to need loyalty on a lot of these players. On these players specifically, you are again going to need loyalty on pretty much all of the players. If you take away the 11 chemistry points, you will go down to, I think, 91 or 92. So you are going to need loyalty on these. It is a pain to get the loyalty. Um, you know, it takes about 15 minutes per team to get the loyalty. So do this at your leisure. Um, or if, you know, if you find a way to do it without needing the loyalty glitch, then go right ahead. But we're going to submit that squad. We're going to get the mega pack for completing that. And all, all over, we get ourselves a rare... What? You get a 50k pack for that? That is definitely worth it, guys. There is no question that's worth it. Holy crap, EA hooking us up there. So we've got nine packs in store, guys. Let's see how lucky we get. Yo, you get some good players from that. That is that's that is worth the time, guys. Let me tell you, that is worth investing your time in because you get a 50k pack. And I'll tell you something as well. It might be worth hanging on to these packs until the upgrades come out on Friday, like late Friday night, because it doesn't look like they're out now. So it may well be, uh, yeah, it may well be worth hanging on to these packs, guys. I'm going to open them now because how good would this video be if we did all of this and then didn't open the packs, right? But for you guys, it may be worth, uh, worth hanging on to them, holding on to your players and doing that. So far, our pack luck has not been the, uh, the most fortunate we have opened the worst pack so far, though. A silver pack, a gold pack. We're now going to open a jumbo premium gold pack. We'll open the all-players pack and the two-players pack afterwards. And then we'll get down to the good pack. So we get that Lemos card. Uh, not, too, uh, not too useful for us, to be honest. Hopefully just stacking up the club with some uh, dudes that I've already sold. I'm going, to, I'm going to keep everything to the trade pile. Because of these SBCs, a lot of random cards could be worth a hell of a lot of coins. Um, next up, we'll go with the uh, two rare gold players pack. Comedy A hook us up. Big flare. This is the best pack we've had so far. It's gonna be it's gonna be Javi Martinez. Very nice indeed. An 84 rated from this. Cannot complain about that. We get the upgraded Sanson. Of course, some of the upgrades are already impacts if they've had um, one to watch cards already. Next up is our all players pack. We get not a rare gold. It's either gonna be a silver or a bronze. Hopefully a silver. They're usually more valuable. Yes, it is a silver. I'll send all of those dudes to the club and send all of these dudes up onto the trade pile for me to sell on when I get, well, when I stop being lazy. Um, next up, we've got a rare gold pack, a mega pack. Yo, you get some solid, solid packs from this. This is what we need, EA. This is what we want. We want good things like this. I'm not saying daily, but definitely, you know, a little more common than we're getting them. Let's go and get ourselves, you know, let's go and get ourselves these packs every once a week. Once a week would be fantastic. Mega pack up next, boys. So far, nothing good. 184 or higher rated player is all we've got to date. And that was in the two player pack, not even in a good pack. So uh, our, our pack luck has been bad, but we are we are about to use a, uh, a prime gold players pack and a rare gold players pack. A rare players pack. Let's start with the prime gold players pack. No walkout. Can we get an inform? Not even a big flare. Not even a big flare. We get ourselves Gail Kalishi. Maybe there's a Juan Jesus in here. There is not. 
this has been very disappointing to date, EA. You are not, you, you know, you're not, you're not filling me with confidence, lads. Last but not least, guys, a rare players pack. No walkout. Can we get an inform? No, we cannot. That is a shambles, EA. An absolute shambles. We could still have a Gabriel Jesus in here, which we don't. We got uh, Walcott and Didavi and Silva back that we used. Um, so that's pretty good. That for me, guys, was utterly, utterly horrendous luck. But there you have it. Pretty long video, but I did go through two of the SBCs at once here. If you did enjoy this video, drop a thumbs up for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.